When we get special training as scuba divers, we can go into caves and caverns. Do you want to be a cave diver? Come on in. Look at the ceiling of this cave. There's gargonians, which are sea fans growing on the ceiling. Look at the colors. The sea fans always grow perpendicular to the reef because they feed on plankton as it flows through. They're amazing to see. Now, when we swim out of this cave, there's a good chance that we're going to find a horn shark. That's right. So keep your eyes open for a horn shark. Look, there's one. Can you see it? Grab your camera. Can you see the horn on top of its dorsal fin? It's kind of like a fingernail. Horn sharks rest during the day in the rocky reefs because they come out at night to feed. Even though they're resting, they still need to breathe. They have five sets of gills. Can you see the water pumping over their gills? That's how they breathe. Horn sharks live in shallow water where there can be lots of surge. That's why they need the horn on top of their dorsal fin. Surge is the backwards and forwards motion from waves breaking on the surface. Surge can be lots of fun if you know how to dive in it. Right now, we're in an eelgrass bed in really shallow water. Maybe we can find some more sharks. Oh, look, there's a leopard shark. They're really shy sharks. They like to live between the rocky reefs and the sand flats where they find food to eat. The kelp forest is home to many animals. When I swim in the kelp forest, I pretend I'm a mermaid swimming in the sea. If you use your imagination, what animal would you be? Let's go investigate the kelp forest because there's a lot of animals that play hide and seek. So grab your magnifying glass and let's see what animals we can find hiding in the kelp forest. 